Hello and welcome to Wet Souls. My name is Nick and on this channel we do videos for people that love scuba diving and love the underwater world. Now in just a few weeks it's going to be Christmas and if you are anything unlike myself you surely already started researching your Christmas presents and that's why you're here because you've got somebody in your circle of friends or family who is a scuba diver and you're not sure what to get them for Christmas. Well, worry not, because this one is going to be the video for you, as we are going to look at 10 useful presents for scuba divers. And just before we kick off, let me give you one word of advice. Scuba divers in general tend to be rather specific about the kind of equipment that they like, in terms of brands, as well as need, depending on what kind of scuba diving they do. So, uh, rather than you just uh, shooting off and buying any old thing, I do recommend that uh, you talk to the person that you want to gift and sit them down to find out what they may like or what they may need. Be prepared. They might get off on a rant and start telling you about all sorts of strange things that you never heard of, such as uh, maybe a Galapagos safari, a rebreather or something called an underwater scooter. But once that initial excitement has waned off, you should be able to get something useful out of them and if you can't talk to them for whatever reason maybe you don't want to blow your cover I do recommend that uh, you get in touch with your local dive store they've got all the equipment there that you can imagine and they have the knowledge to help you make an informed decision as well and you will be supporting your local diving retailers especially in this time it's a very good thing to do finally there is the advantage that if you buy something that isn't right, you can always return or exchange that for something else. All right, guys, enough of me waffling. Let's get cracking with 10 useful presents for people that scuba dive. Present number one, a fish ID book. One of the reasons why people like diving is because it brings us into contact with a completely different world and with some of its incredible inhabitants, meaning the countless fish and marine creatures which can be found under the sea. Many divers love to search for these different species, informing themselves and learning more about them in the process. Think of this like a Pokemon hunt. The more you know about what you see, the more interesting it becomes to spend time in the water observing creatures. So this is why, in my opinion, you will never do anything wrong by gifting someone with a fish ID book. Depending on where the diving is done, there's plenty of different books out there. A good address to start with is the excellent Reef Fish Identification Tropical Pacific by Alan Steen, Human and Deloach, which was recently revisited by adding 200 additional species. And if you're after something that is a little less specific but which still packs a great punch in terms of both information as well as beautiful illustrations, let me recommend Oceanarium. This one is by Tegan White and beautifully illustrated by Love Day Trinic. It's actually aimed at kids but it does work on all ages and it will give you a great introduction into the workings of the ocean as well as underwater creatures. I highly recommend this one. On number two, a primary or a spare dive light. One of the things that we learn when taking our first dive course is that when we go into the water, the colors really change or rather they get absorbed and they disappear uh, the deeper that we go. And a very simple way to bring colors back to the blue world is using a dive light. There's nothing more beautiful than seeing the full spectrum of colors off a reef come back when we illuminate it. And if someone has been diving for a while, generally they own at least one light. But if you are on the market for a present, it's definitely worth checking if they have one. If they don't have a light, consider getting them one. And even if they've got one, get them a spare or backup light, as that can always come in handy, especially if they decide to do night diving. There's plenty of lights out there for all budgets, so I don't want to get into reviews. But I'll drop you a link down below, that's a paddy link, and it should give you a good idea where to start from. And remember, just in case, there's always your local dive store. Number three is a toolkit for divers. As I was mentioning at the beginning, diving does involve a fair amount of equipment. And equipment can, and 
will surely at some point have to be fixed. It seems, by the way, that this usually always tends to happen right at the very last minute. So that's just before you go into the water. You can ask any diver about something called a blown O-ring. To help repair small gear failures, that could mean your loved one might miss an incredible dive. They should always take good care of their equipment, but sometimes they just need something handy to fix things just on the spot. And this is where a toolkit comes in handy. I'll drop you a link down below um, to a very comprehensive toolkit. It's called Save a Dive Kit, and it offers all important tools as well as some great additions, such as a strap for uh, your mask or for the fins. They can rather often break. So you'll really help them out with this one. And uh, uh, that's definitely something very useful for divers because you'll be able to save their dive. Find the link down below. Present number four, a local dive destinations guide. Generally, people do associate scuba diving with warm tropical waters. Indeed, that is a great environment to enjoy the sport. But as we know, in the past two years, travel was radically reduced. And for many, this meant less scuba diving abroad and more diving at home. Even though it might not sound incredibly appealing at first, once you start doing some research into what your local surroundings have to offer in terms of diving, you might be surprised about the variety of options you get when you dive at home. This is why your favorite diver doesn't have to be landbound and can still go out and dive. Have a look online for books about your specific area, or even better, go and speak to your dive shop about what options they have and what local trips they may organize. Your diver will thank you and love you for this. Number five, a Dan membership. While your favorite scuba diver is out and about enjoying their underwater activities, you surely want to know that they are safe. DAN, or Divers Alert Network, is the world's largest diving safety association dedicated to improving diving safety for all divers. They do operate on many levels, including medical research and training, but also insurance. And with as little as 40 US dollars a year, your favorite diver will have access to Dan's membership and benefit from emergency medical evacuation if they need. They can access a 24 seven global emergency hotline and talk to medical specialists if they have any queries about diving related matters, as well as gain access to safety guides, reports, videos, and more. And depending on the level of coverage wanted, the membership can also be extended into a full-fledged diving and travel insurance. And regardless if someone dives locally or they just go on a trip abroad, this is a very valuable asset for any diver, giving them and yourself a lot of confidence. If you want to check out the scope of Dan's offer, you can find the link to Dan's website down below. Present number six, a book on dive theory and physiology. The great present for anyone scuba diving, but especially for those that want to broaden their knowledge about the theory behind breathing gas and the pressure and what the physiological implications are. We learn about nitrogen, nitrogen mycosis, decompression, decompression sickness in our courses, but I find that these concepts tend to get forgotten, maybe because they're a little more difficult to learn or uh, they are not so exciting, but um, Knowing about them makes us more careful, more aware, and therefore better divers. Deco for Divers, Mark Powell, Seminole Reed. He wanted to write something broad, something technical, yet still accessible to everyone. I think he's hit the spot with that great read. If you want something a little more medical, and then scuba physiological, Constantino Balestra, Peter Gemonpré, and Simon Pridwell, uh, Pridmore, my bad. Excellent overview on where we stand in terms of medical diving medicine at the moment. Finally, scuba exceptional. This one, Simon Pridmore, again, a uh, very entertaining book, and the aim is to make you become the best diver you can become. Very anecdotal book with a lot of stories, how to approach a dive uh, in terms of uh, planning, preparation, execution, and it's got a great chapter, chapter four, on 
diving physiology as well. Present number seven, a dive specialty course. You might be aware that scuba diving offers many kind of different activities that can be learned and enjoyed, very much making scuba diving a progression-based sport. Now, if you speak to your diver, friend or loved one, you'll be able to find out what specialties they have already done and which one they might be interested in exploring further. Once you have this information, the best way to go forward is to contact a dive center or dive store and ask them for further information. The great thing about this is that this is an activity-based present and it can potentially even be combined with a mutual trip or holiday. Now, a present doesn't always have to be big and expensive. Sometimes small and sweet is just all you need. And that brings us to position number eight, where literally we have a box of chocolates. But this is not any old box of chocolates. This is a box of Guillaume chocolates, a brand from Belgium that not only produces delicious chocolates, iconically shaped in the form of seashells and seahorses, but it's a brand that does a lot for the ocean as well. In fact, they support a project called Project Seahorse. This project protects seahorses, establishes marine protected areas, and it limits fisheries. And every time you get a box of these, some of the proceedings go towards funding that project. So basically, every time you buy a box, you do something good for the ocean. And by the way, they're really excellent as well. Present number nine is a rather obvious and pragmatic, but it is a voucher for a dive shop. As I said before, getting a present for a scuba diver may not always be easy because they like different kinds of material and they're very particular about the material they love in terms of brands and in terms of the scuba diving stuff that they need. But a voucher from a store like this is great because that will save you a lot of headaches. And as I said before, you can always go and exchange or return a present. And now we come to our last present, the one that every scuba diver wants and wishes for, aside of course of that scooter and the rebreather. And this is a quality dive buddy, someone that loves them, cherishes them, understands them, likes to spend time with them. Basically they want someone that they can share their underwater adventures with. Excuse the somewhat poetic approach, what I'm trying to say is that you should gift them yourself as a dive buddy. And by this I mean that you should try scuba diving. Now, if you've done this before and you've seen that it's not the sport for you, that's absolutely fine. But if you never tried, well, there's a lot worse you could do. Let me start by saying that it's never a good idea to do something just to please somebody else. Um, you should always do it because you want to do it yourself. And I've seen it quite a few times while teaching, there's a lot of people that come in and they say they want to do a course or they want to try diving to please their wives, their husbands, their brothers or sisters. And that's, from my point of view, not a good way to go about this. But if you listen to yourself and you find that this could be something interesting, something that I could enjoy, well, go ahead and try. I've, by the way, made a video about this. You can go and watch that up there. The worst thing that can happen, if you don't like it, you'll just go home and you take some nice memories with you. The best thing that can happen is that you may discover a sport that can accompany you for the rest of your life, um, as well as an activity that has the potential to really change the uh, way you perceive reality and existence. I know, I just went back to that poetic beginning. In any case, I hope you'll enjoy it. Well, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. These were our 10 useful presents for people that scuba dive. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to press the like button. If you like this type of content and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. And just before I go, let me wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Um, actually, this year, I think one of the most important things for all of us is a lot of love, unity and respect. And I do mean that in a broad way. In any case, it's been a pleasure to have you around. Stay well and as always, keep your souls wet.